Hello guys, welcome back to the next episode of Sim Airport with me, Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me. It's great to see you. We are just going to destroy that. We've had a new update to the game. The guys have been working hard. Queues are working a lot better. Unfortunately, the cafe and the kitchen still aren't quite right. These, pe <laughs> these people here, they're never going to leave the table. So I've been having to sort of manually send them home. <laughs> but oh, Where's this guy going? He's like... I'm going to take the long way round. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> so I'm going to send them home. Other people want to use the chairs. Come on, guys. There's a few people queued up here that are never going to go. We're just going to forget about this area for now. We will come back to that. I'm sure it will be fixed. I want to extend this area here because this queue system is a bit of a nightmare. I would like one for first class and for everybody else. We also need somebody else to tidy this up. We've got enough money coming in. Um, let's get a janitor. We've only got one janitor. I think we need three at least. There we go. Don't... Where are you going? Oh, are you walking off to get supplies or something? <laughs> Is that how it works? You've got to come all the way down here to get supplies before you can clean up. These workmen are waiting around. Got concrete and all sorts of things there. Good. So, let's have a look. Let's get... Let's build in here. And then also I'm going to put another gate in as well. I want to get another gate. Probably over here somewhere i may oh look they're unhappy Ugh. but they don't go i may just delete this whole cafe thing although i did want that as like my middle section so people can come in each side but i don't think it's even big enough i think this should be like massive in the middle oh do you know what i think this is going to end up down here instead i'm trying to sort of think ahead rather than just sort of build as i go along um and I'm thinking about having this exit section come down here instead. So if people can come in and out, I might have a big corridor down the middle for exiting. Let's go for let's go medium speed. So whenever anybody comes out, they go straight down the middle there, they go straight down the middle there, and then off of that either side, we can have things like cafes and shops and all that sort of stuff. So I think this is all going to go again. We've had that before. Let's do it again. Remove walls and indoor flooring down to grass. Dismantles objects. Remove walls. Leaves indoor flooring. So we need to do both of those. So let's do that. I don't think I'll be able to do that as well. Okay, let's wait until they get rid of all of that. And then we'll come back to the cafe another time. Some of my other staff that were stuck outside have gone. <laughs> this one won't go. They just won't be fired. Leave, will you? Leave. But they just won't leave. So <laughs> We'll end up having to sell all these supplies as well. Because they're going to end up sat around on the place. That's something I think as well. If the devs are watching, you need to be able to automatically have... Uh, oh, here we go. Let's get rid of this. Automatically have supplies be removed or put somewhere else because at the minute they're left there So these things these kitchen things and these tables and chairs they will all automatically stay there <laughs> Someone's gonna come and take that table. Oh, no, there's no chairs now are they so they're not gonna go <laughs> They're not gonna go and sit there. You can go home. You can go home. They're just gonna stay there forever Yeah, automatically all need to be stored somewhere Rather than just staying in the middle of the floor. Because it gets a bit annoying when you're trying to build other stuff. Are you not going to go? Annoying. Okay, let's get rid of all of these. Off you go. Sorry, you've all dressed up for a cool holiday. Ain't going to happen. I'll tell you what, this one will eventually leave. She's stuck because of someone else leaving. Or not having left yet. There we go. So let's build the big exit corridor. I mean, we're getting so much money coming in at the moment. I can really sort of do what I like. I can I can leave the game running if I wish. You still not going? You still not going? What's this? There's a worker down here working at the pizza oven. About to take a pizza out of the oven. Oh, there's like tons of people in here, isn't there? Look. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. <laughs> Go home. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, I've actually jumped back a couple of save games just to save me the time of removing all that because it. Uh, I want to cancel all of that because it actually takes a load of time. Still have the person stuck out here. Can he be fired? No, you're going to stay there forever. And these two, I think, are being fired. They're going to disappear. Bing! Fire them while they're going home and they disappear. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there's a few more. Let's send them to the Twilight Zone. Boing! They've gone. Okay, right, so... Yeah, this exit corridor, I think... How much is it going to cost? 
But then again, they want to come out to baggage claim. So maybe this exit corridor will join up with this one instead. We'll have the exit come down there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's not, because we haven't got as much money as we had before. <laughs> now that I've done this. If that goes like that, oh, that's going to cost zero up to there. Now it's going to cost zero everywhere. Okay. <laughs> let's have a zero costing foundation. Yay. Excellent. So this will become the exit corridor for these guys as well. Um, I may open this up a bit more for those that are coming out and have a bigger queue here. That, that's what I'm going to do because this is all a bit higgledy-piggledy. And we'll sort of see how we can go and get that. Let's have that going down there. Yeah, we'll, we'll rearrange this a bit once, once they've built that down there. And then I'd like to sort of mirror this, but on this side, and have another big gate over here, and then have another one of those rooms. Yep, plans. Plans are going on. People are happier with me. Oh, what research have we got? We can do some more research. Bank loans? We've done that one. Already. Okay, maybe... Oh, I'll tell you what it was. I bet when my... The lovely guys on the uh, Sim Airport Discord helping by rebuilding the thing. They probably forgot to do the research. So I've sort of skipped that and gone to some other ones. Let's do the bank loan one. And then we'll get the upgrade buses. And we'll just get both of those done. We've got the money, so... But yeah, I'm just sort of rethinking this a bit. I don't know whether actually... I might not have that as the exit at all. I might actually still build another corridor for the exit. And just make this like a much bigger waiting area. And this one up here, remove this middle wall. Yeah, I think I might do that. So I'll do remove all those leaves indoor flooring. Yeah, we need that. Let's do that. To there. And they're still building this, so I'll let them finish that. Oh, no, don't cancel the project. I want it all done. And then I can still have an exit corridor here coming into baggage claim. And the baggage claim might end up actually being bigger. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. They've, they've removed the wall already. Excellent. There we go. Get stuck in with that. So that then, half of that can go with this. And the other half can go over there. Is there going to be an easy way to count marking this out? What have we got? Uh, build foundation. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 after the middle one. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, it actually says it on the screen. Oh, okay. It actually says it on the screen. Let's go like that so I can see where it's going up to. 1. Yeah, there we go. So, we want to go up to 14. Up to there. Or are we going to put that middle thing in first? Let's put the middle thing in first. Let's have our exit corridor down here. Wow, that's going to cost a lot of money. Um, five wide, four wide, three wide. So that will mean... How wide is this here? That's four wide. So we've got two in the center. Oh man, that's going to be a lot of money. If we do four wide... Oh, by the way, for the person asking me how do I zoom in and out, there's like a comment on almost every video. I don't know if they're trolling me or what, but it just uses your middle mouse button like on every other game on the planet. 84,000. We can have that come down to there. Yeah, let's do that. Get them to build that section. Yeah, you just zoom in and out like that. Scroll middle mouse button. Oh, this is going to be much better. Much more space. Good. They're removing the wall. They're using their brains. That's good. We'll change this queue around here as well. Nice. And also, I've seen quite a few comments. Just had a quick sip of tea. About um, Airport CEO. I'm also looking forward to that. Similar sort of top-down prison architect is always the game that people sort of liken these things to. This sort of style. Uh, there's been another brick in the mall. There's this. There's airport CEO. Obviously, prison architect. There's a hospital one. You know, all using the similar sort of style. Yeah, I'm looking forward to airport CEO. I've been in touch with the devs for that as well. Soon as I get hold of that, we're going to be getting... Uh, oh, that, I wanted the wall down there, didn't I? Mm, okay. Well, never mind. Let's sort this out then and put the wall in. I mean, I don't know whether we do need a whole separate corridor for exiting. We could just have... 
this little bit here. Leave this like as an open area. Yeah, I think we'll do that actually. Let's leaves it. I couldn't remember. Clear leaves the indoor flooring. That's what we want. If we do that and just have those exit things here. Uh, what are they called? Now that, oh, there you go. It will say there. Security exit. Ah, funny that. So if we have those... Oh yeah, that's going bigger, isn't it? If we have that... Make sure that's facing the right way round. Yeah, that way. Like that. So the whole of this can be a security exit into baggage handling, maybe. So nobody can come through that way. Whoops. I should go there. Yeah, there we go. But they can still mingle in this area over here. I think that sounds fair. And then, let's have a look. Let's have a look. I'm wondering whether to have, like, a separate centre section. This queue I want to change. I don't like this queue at all. Let's do... What's the flooring here? Let's do some of that. Uh, no, that's under build. It's like a checkered one. It's this one here, isn't it? I might change some of that floor in the middle later. We'll, we'll see. And then this one goes here. There we go. That's better. Lots more room. And then we can have more of these waiting areas for people as well that want to sit down. We can put, like, some bushes or something up the middle. Yes, much better. Uh, what's the time? Okay, so our big flight is not coming in. That's not a big one, is it? Seven. Where's our big flight? Gate one, gate one, gate one. Scrolling. What's going on? Gate two. There we go. It's not coming until ten. Yeah, so, well, well let's delete this queue anyway. Uh, shrink queue. Bum, 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 bum. And then we can have that queue. Let's try that again. There we go. Expand queue. If it lets us. Yeah, go across there. We could sort of snake it up and down here a bit more, actually. We just need this queue. I mean, a lot of people have put comments about how things seem to... Whoops. Things seem to work better without queues. Yeah, sometimes it does. But sometimes it's just nice to organise people and have them nice and tidy and... So I'm thinking if we do... I mean, this is the gate with the big... They're like that. So they come in there. That should be... Okay, they're ignoring that queue. Most of them are. Here we go. Everyone else is like... Whoa! Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> I love the way that looks. <laughs> That's fantastic. So we don't get that sort of milling around of people at the back. That's the... That's what I'm hoping for. And then they all get on. Let's close that menu. Let's speed things up. And hopefully we'll get everybody on. Let's keep that down there so we can see what's happening. Some people are still skipping the queue. They're like coming in down here. The cheesy so-and-sos. They're, they're the people that push in. Oh, I know you. Hello, John, Jim, Fred. And everyone behind's going, going, oh, how dare you. 30 minutes left. I think maybe they were told off and had to come to the back of the queue. Go all the way to the back. Look, they're coming all the way back. Oh, you've missed your flight. Serves you right for skipping the queue. Seems to be two people still here, look. Let's fire the other one. Nah, they're not getting fired. Okay. So that's working well for that. This queue here... I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this one. Let's... I've never liked the way this is all set up anyway. Yep. Let's expand it. Whoa. Everybody suddenly joined that queue. Oh, now I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, I was on the shrink queue button. Let's go like that. Auto save. There we go. And go. Oh, one too far. And then just sort of go up the back here a bit. How far are we? Yeah. And just try that. I mean, I could do with like a separate first class queue as well. Oh, I forgot about that. Actually, no, we'll take that one out. They can join at the side there, can't they? Let's go to there. No, expand. There we go. That looks better, doesn't it? That that I like this one. That's not too bad. Okay. We can get some more waiting areas in here. Some more benches. 
There we go, look. And they're not really getting in the way of those people there. I know some people are using the loo and then skipping out, but hey-ho, we'll have to just deal with that. And then these... We can put some more of these in, can't we? I'm going to move that drinks machine that's in the middle there. Oh, no, that's not right, is it? Let's cancel that. Destroy that. They're not right. Bench. Place, place. So that should go there. And that should go there, like that. Yeah. How did, I, how did nobody tell me in the comments? I always blame you guys. It's my fault, really, isn't it? Let's put another one of those there. It just makes me laugh because normally the slightest mistake and there's 47,000 comments. But sometimes I make a mistake and nobody notices. Let's destroy that. Let's destroy that. There we go. I like that. And then we'll stick a few more plant pots and things down here just to keep, their, keep them happy. And we can now fit some behind there as well. No, we can't because that's... Oh, that's probably why I only had the one row in. I didn't want these ones facing the wall. Eh, whatever. Whatever. Let's put these in. So when they do sit down, their environment is going to be lovely. Let's get rid of that one there. Okay. That's better. Look at that. Much more space for people to come in, come out. Uh, we need some nice exit-style carpet in here. Let's go for a different one. What have we not? We've not had boring grey carpet yet. So let's go with that. There we go. And we could even just even this out and make this bigger here. So can we destroy some of these fences? Okay, I can't click on them. Yes, I can. There we go. So if I do foundation from here, blocks by pending construction. Okay. That's it. So I do that. We can make this bigger. We may even stick another baggage claimer. Nobody seems to complain about baggage, though. So I noticed a few boxes around the place that need tidying up. That's, is that on five speed? It is. Um, let's have a look at our cash flow... 84, in the plus 84,000 with all of our flights. Whoa, here comes a big flight. What are we due? Is this the 10 o'clock one coming in? We could do some more seats here, can't we, for waiting, so they're not walking from all the way over there. That would be good. Let's do some benches. Let's slow this down a bit. Give the FPS a chance. Um, if we go like that, and like that... I mean, I'm leaving a gap in between them. I, you don't really need to. Actually, that's too far away. Let's go a bit closer with that one. You don't really need to leave a big gap. Let's go like that. Yeah, let's give that a go. Yeah, so these could actually shift up a bit closer. So that would gain us one, two, three, four spaces. We could fit another row. Okay, let's see how this is going. You know, I can see people are going up to the gate agent desk. Look. And then they're coming back to join the queue. What's all that about? That is a bit weird. Now they're all going in. Let's see what happens. I know queuing is one of the things that the devs are really working on. Watch out, he's driving through. Queuing is one of the things at the minute that the devs are really working hard on. So every day there's been an update. I come on in the morning, sit down at my desk, do a few things, reply to comments, stuff like that. This is like an insight in the day of a YouTuber. I water my plant. I edit if there's a video that needs to be rendered on my laptop. So I did that first. I watch a Seth Meyers, Late Night with Seth Meyers... He has a little funny segment I like watching while I'm editing a video. Reply to some comments, and then I look at the uh, Discord. The Sim Airport Discord. And there's been an update every morning. They're, like, working on it every day. So I, like, downloaded that. Well, it's downloaded already. Get the game going. Reported about my cafe just to let them know. But every day they're, like, chatting to us. They're working on things. Cues is the thing that they're really working on at the minute. 89 minutes left. How's this going to go? Let's just speed this up. And then sat down to record. Should all get on. Everybody should be there. 
Almost there, 280, 300. There's 44 people standing, 30 people standing. Oh, look at that. That is, that is a well-honed queue. And that's got everybody on first time. That is absolutely brilliant. I might just redo this area here and move them all up a spot. Let us... Oh, man, people are going to be unhappy at this. Let's move all these up. We don't need to waste all that space. Bag? <laughs> I didn't see that. There we go. You can destroy these as well. Destroy. I click on the wrong thing. Destroy. Can I have these two done? Thank you. Behinches. Yeah, we're going to move them right up like that. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Let's destroy that one. Let's do these as well. So they're going to be sat on this bench, waiting for their plane, fed up to be in the airport, and then suddenly someone's going to come along and destroy the bench that they're sat on. And there we go. And we can fit. So how many more have we fit in? We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've now got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. Making use of space with Biffa. Actually, if we do that, 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 and that. And we do that, that. So the supplies are already here for most of these, so they're just running along. I may just put... I'm just wondering whether to just put benches down the whole thing, but it seems a bit weird, doesn't it? Let's do that, and then we'll destroy the ones that are... Oh, I should have destroyed first. So I bet they're going to go and order new... <laughs> New bushes when there's now going to be boxes of bushes lying around. Ikea bushes. Oh, shucks. Council project. There we go. That's destroyed. That's it, isn't it? I've got one more to go there. Bush. Bush. We never did put any down this side because of all that stuff, but I may... I bet they're still going to squeeze through. Oh, one of those bushes is the wrong colour. Oh, my mouse button slipped. Council. Oh, dear. That wouldn't be good, would it? How would that ruin your, your trip to the airport? I just want this to look nice. I want it all to look the same. There we go. Yay, bushes! Unfortunately, we can't rotate the bushes, but I thought what we're going to do is we're going to put the other colour bushes here. That worker that just won't go home, who's been fired, is going to end up standing in a bush. And we're going to put bushes behind here, like we've done over there. And... No, not there, because that's their feet. <laughs> that won't be good. Cool! That's a sliding door. Uh, we'll keep that. We might end up with some more sliding doors. Well, I think this is looking good. Flight, let's have a look at our reports. Um... Secure area. Yeah, all of this is still secure. Good. Environment. Well, these are going to get built in a minute. So, yeah, that'll be good. Let's wait for them to finish that. And then info. I think everything is just info. Yeah, I don't think the info heat map's working. So, environment. That's looking good as they're building these. That'll be nice and full up. Do you know what we could do? Is we could put... We've got any other indoor decorative bushes, trees type things? Indoors, decorative plants. Oh, wow, that's massive. We could have that one next to the coffee machine. Tree, outdoors, outdoors, outdoors. Okay. Outdoors, outdoors, outdoors. That's a massive one. Okay, it's going to be these ones here. I want to put something... No. It's underused... Oh, what? I didn't want that one. Cancel the project. This underused green one. We go for the colour one. I'm going to go one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. And then we're going to have our info boards. What? Wrong button. Uh, where are they? Where are they? What are these things called? Flight info display. Yes, I was right. Flight. And we're going to put some more of these down the side here. So, oh, they're only one wide. Okay, we're going to have two. There we go. 
So people can see what's going on. I'm also going to put some down here. Not usable in that position. Hey? Eh? What? So it works against the wall back here. I'm guessing they're double-sided, but it doesn't work down here. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do then. We're going to have a row... Like that. So people sat here can look over at the info boards. Uh, here we don't have any, so I'm going to put... At the end of every one of these, another info board. So people can see what's going on. People are going to be so informed, they're going to love it. We could probably do with some benches and stuff down here. That can go. Got an info board there. I'm going to stick another one next to that one. <laughs> Flight info display. There we go. Today is the placing bushes episode. And I want everybody in this queue to be pleased with all the bushes that are around them. There we go. Hey, hey. Careful. There we go. Now that's some expansion, isn't it? That is looking good. I'm liking the way this is looking. And then we've got our baggage. Let's have a quick look at baggage claim. Get this zone a bit better. Up to there. Or has that got a different floor in underneath? Oh, it has, hasn't it? What's that got? Didn't realise that. It's got like a weird... Is it this one? I'm not entirely sure what flooring that is. Let's... Hmm. I'm not sure that's the right one. It might be this one. Let's wait for them. Oh, no, there it is. It is that one. Okay, that's good. And then this nasty carpet. Oh, there needs a wall under here. We've got no security. No, we don't need a wall under there. We need... To get rid of that... And then we need security gates. And then we do need some carpet under there as well, don't we? Let's... Oh, let's wait for that to finish. Get these done. Oh, people are using the trash. There's no rubbish being left everywhere. We are a very tidy airport. There we go. How's the baggage claim? You never see anybody complain about the baggage claim. So, I don't know whether that's ever a problem or not. But, everybody seems to get their baggage. Oh, I'm liking the way this is looking. This is looking nice. We're still making 84,000. We can definitely add some more flights in. I mean, with our... We can get some bigger flights. Some of these small ones that we've got. Let's have a look at our schedule. I mean, these are tiny. We want to get, like, a big morning one. Let's see if we can get a 777. Because we've only got... Let's have a quick look at our sh schedule again. What was that? It's like a stone hit my window or something. Did you hear that? <laughs> that was weird. We've only got gate 2 being used at 10 o'clock. If we can get some large flights in... Oh, everybody wants to give me their flights. Look at that. Let's go for the bigger ones. Galactic points. 300, 525, 520. Let's go for this one. 787. Uh, morning. So what are the big ones? 787. Afternoon. Yeah, let's go for that. So that'll be for tomorrow. A380. I'm assuming that's going to be a gate 2 one. Let's look at our schedule then. Let's look at our... She should tell you on this one which gate they would go to. That would be handy, because then you can sort of work out what's going on. So let's have a look for tomorrow. Let's slow this down a second. Oh, they've not been assigned a gate yet. Ah, okay. Yeah, because that would make a big difference as to what's going on. Well, that's a max. That's going to go for gate two. This is gate two. These ones are gate one. So that's only a teeny tiny one. So to be honest, that one can happen whenever. Um, that's a small one. That one, I'm not sure. That's a small one and that's a small one. I bet we could move that up. I'm hoping this is going to be a big gate in between these two. We're nearly at the end of the day. Let's see what happens. As soon as it gets to 24 o'clock. <laughs> 24 o'clock. 
24 Zulu. Then they'll be scheduled, I believe. So let's wait for these gates to kick in. Can I move that up there? I can. FPS is dropping. You should run it a bit slower. When there's loads and loads of passengers, there we go. Give it, give the game a chance. I think what it is, is with the game suddenly working out the pathing for all the passengers that are coming in, it suddenly goes, oh, all this pathing to work out. Because once they start moving, it's not too bad. There we go. There's probably a, oh, another load about to come through. But I'm sure the game will be optimised as it goes on as well. Okay, the gate info is in. So gate 2 is going to be the Airbus 380. The 787 and the 777. So that should be fine. The Airbus 380. Is that this one here? Yes, Airbus 380. So that's good. This one here, which we said, and that one there. So that's going to give us a ton of money coming in. By the way, I've, I've got a new COO. She's disappeared. <laughs> I don't know where she's gone. Oh, she's left. Uh, let's come back again. Yay, now working in the office. The new COO. COO, much better than the old COO. Oh, we need more of these ticketing. Look at that. We need more ticketing kiosks. Let's slow this down. We're really pushing this thing now, I tell you. With the amount of people that we've got. Let's have another one there, another one there. Let's rotate that. We'll have another one there, 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 and there. There we go. How's things going? Okay, there's no queues at security. Lots of people coming out. That's good. Not so many frame rates. <laughs> oh, man. <gasps> Look at the size of this plane, an Airbus 380. Wow, how many people is that supposed to take? That was this one here, wasn't it? The Galactic Point Flight 525. Is that our biggest? That takes 400. I think that's our biggest. It is our biggest flight. 525 people. Wow. Are they all going to get on? Let's double time it. This is our biggest flight yet. How much money are we making? 147,000 a day. Who's this? Oh, Rampaging. Okay, you're allowed to wander around. Oh, man. Okay, let's let's just let things run through a minute or two. Here they go. Not many left. What are we up to? Got 110 minutes to go. That queue is fantastic. It easily holds all the people for one of the biggest flights that we've had. Although it only says 370 boarding this one. But the possibility of the, one of the biggest flights, <laughs> I think it would be fine. I like the way it's working as well. Everyone's going to get on. No problem at all. We can probably speed it right up now. There's less people there. There we go. A couple of people may miss their flights if they pushed in the queue. <laughs> like this guy's like bought something, gone to sit down. He's probably going to go, ah, oh, I need to join the queue. 380, 340. Let's slow it down a bit so you don't miss the final figure. 362, 365. Anybody rush it? No. 367 out of 370. That is not bad at all. Look at the size of that thing. And we're getting no problems with... We've got two en route. Gate A1 and gate A2. Oh, that's for half five. Couple of hours. I think this is fantastic. We're going to get so much money. Everybody's really happy. Airline interest. Well, that's affected by the pricing. I'm not going to fiddle with this because we're getting so much money. It's brilliant. So... I'm, I'm liking this new little area that we've got going on here. I think this is working really, really well. Lots of nice expansion. Maybe next episode we can add another runway, a second runway. Uh, oh, how's our research gone? We've researched everything. So now, can we like upgrade this road? Is that how it works? Uh, let's have a look. Just before we finish up. There's nothing there. What does it say about the roads? Ability to build and demolish roads. Upgrade buses. Schedules an extra double-decker bus every 30 minutes. Well, that's just automatic. Uh, Multi-lane access. Changes your airport entrance and exit to be two-lane roads. Oh, look. So we can add another road on there. But we'd have to, like, redo these pieces here. Well, that's a bit weird. 
So it's like taking up more space. Oh, here we go. Look, planes are coming in and going all at the same time. Oh, we'll, we'll look at that next time. We'll look at that next time. Guys, thank you very much for all your support on this amazing game that I'm really enjoying. Hit the like button. Hit the big B with the T-Stain to subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.